So today what we're going to be doing is basically just fixing up the thing from the last update for the variables in the screen here. So we'll be doing that today. The first thing that we actually need to see is what the GUI looks like. So if we click on it, we have a couple different options here. We have a value and fixed version as well as a default name. So basically under this part right here, we'll be getting the variable that we return. Now we need to actually return a variable in order to update our variables for the thing. This is actually a better system than the last version uh, where you could only use specific tags. So we'll be using this uh, right now. We need to create a basically a uh, return or a procedure uh, so we can return this procedure later on. And in order to do that, what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a simple return block. It's going to be a string one. And then you're going to either grab a variable or you can use a default string if you want as well. Uh, default string will be basically like this and then you would type your text and this would make it a static return. Um, you can also have more advanced script that it returns different variables as well based on certain conditions. This, uh, that's optional, but uh, it should always return at least one string. And then the other option is to basically return a variable, either a MBT variable on the player or a, a, local, a global player persistent or um, lifetime variable. So when you right click on the block, it will basically get the value from the block MBT and then pass it over to the entity, which can be then read by the return block. So basically we'll be doing that first. Now this is the script that I have for the right click. Now the easiest way to actually apply the block is to, well, the block variable is to apply it from the right click event. So we'll be quickly creating a variable so we can basically get, um, pass it, pass over the name of the block to the entity so when we use it later on it will be able to actually read it from the player instead and then finally what we need to do is we need to use that variable that we just created and we'll put it somewhere in our procedure for a right click event um, that's generally not the place that i want to put it but that it will be good enough for the example and then finally what we need to do is we need to find the block mbt so we're going to place that here and then I'm just going to make sure that the name is the same as the block where the GUI was using before. Once that is done, we can simply return the variable that we just set. And then we're going to make sure that we get that fixed variable that we just created. It will show up in this tab now, and then we'll basically can't use that name over here, but it will use the return value from the string that we just created. So testing in game, we can see that it returns the monitor name, which is exactly what I created in the script. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.